Welcome back to 164 Land, everybody, with another unboxing. This giant priority mailbox I have in front of me here is from Jimmy at Surplus Goodies. I ordered a bunch of uh, Mini GT Tarmac Works and uh, maybe something else from him uh, through a diecast group on Facebook, as well as on his eBay page, which is Surplus Goodies. He's a great guy. He's a great seller. I recommend them to everybody. And as I like to sprinkle my diecast purchases to the various online dealers, I always make sure I give Jimmy a good amount of business. So let's see if we can move this up here and show you. One thing I don't appreciate is packing peanuts though. <laughs> I get it, it's a necessary evil because he packs his boxes incredibly well. And uh, so let's just dig through here and let's see, let's see what we got here. So we have some boxes on the side. Okay. All right, so as you see, they're double and triple wrapped to make sure that they arrive at their intended destination with minimal damage, right? So this is fun. I was struggling on camera. Let's back that up a little. All right, so let's see what we got in bag number one here. So we have Mini GTs here. This is their Lincoln Capri. It's new casting. What's next is Bentley Continental GT Speed in apple green. There's another new-ish casting. This first time I'm getting it is the Skyline GTR in white. And last in this box is the Hyundai Kona N in Sonic Blue. So pretty good, nice little mini GT additions. And again, there are plenty of these carefully wrapped individual packages within the larger box here. So Jimmy usually puts up a monthly diecast pre-order in a uh, in the one of the diecast groups that I'm in with whatever releases are coming out that month. So I make sure to always get in on that. So here's the top secret GTR uh, VR32 and top secret gold. He didn't have enough for the group, so this was actually purchased off of eBay. So pretty, uh, pretty neat. Here is the Bugatti Cento Dieci. That sounds about right. In black. Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta in Rosso Dubai. And Pagani Waira roadster in black so the good thing about mini gts is they utilize little rubber for their side view mirrors so in the case of pagani where their side view mirrors are little works of art they can replicate them uh, and not just uh leave them off all right we got another box here i'm sorry we got another package here One day I'll get to uh, cutting my videos so I can snap my fingers and then they'll all be open, right? All right, so LB Works Ford Mustang in gray. This is the wide body. I think this came out in green previously, but I have yet to open it. So that's what happens. I buy a whole bunch of stuff and then I don't open them yet. Chevy Corvette Z06 in torch red. This is the C8 Z06. And this previously came out in yellow. The LB Works Lamborghini Aventador Limited Edition in matte. Looks like they spelled matte wrong. Silver. That's like the person's name, Matt. Okay. Uh, Alpina, BMW Alpina B7X Drive. Now, the first BMW that Mini GT released, the 
uh, the first seven series, I, I opened it and unfortunately the headlight had popped out. So I was immediately reminded of the anti mini GT, mini GT club or whatever, where they talk about quality control. Uh, anyway, here is the other version of the top secret skyline. This one is just in white. So it looks like everything is identical except for the color. Uh, maybe this has a carbon fiber hood and this doesn't. Cool. All right. So that's it for that package. Let's see how many little packages we have left in here. Oh, hang on. One more before I pull the, the big dog out. Oh, look, Jimmy. Jimmy included a pen. Nice. I must have. I must have hit the purchase threshold to, to get a complimentary gift. So thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate it. I love pens, so I will use that. And this, this package seems a little more substantial, so maybe we're done with the Mini GTs and we're moving on to some something else. I don't remember what else I bought. The Shukos. So here's the 993-911 GT2. This one was originally re released in red, but the white's nice, this body on white here. Very cool. Oh, that's right. I got uh, PAR 64s. Uh, rough uh, CTR, I'm sorry, roof CTR in Grand Prix white. Mm. Axles are a little, look a little wide on there. And then I, th what do we, he, we got the uh, roof CTR in racing blue. These are the fourth, I'm sorry, the fifth and sixth releases of this casting from PAR 64. The first one, was obviously uh, blossom yellow, and I think they did black the first go around, and then they did green and red maybe, and now we're doing those. So lastly, from Mini GT, let's move this without dumping packing peanuts all over my floor. Double. Let's try to cut myself. I mean, I'm sure you can see what it is already. It is the LB Racing Transporter set. It looks like there's a little, little ding on the back there, but that's all right. Let's see if we can make this go up a little. Oh, and we'll back it up. So this is pretty neat here. This is the first time this has been utilized, I believe, from Mini GT. It is a complete box. I mean, this is a giant box here. It's wrapped. Like I said, there's a little, a little crease here, but that's whatever. As long as the, the contents are okay, and I'll open this later today. Uh, it comes with one casting here, the S15 Sylvia. I'm not sure if it's the same as the previously one. I, there there's, has to be some some little tweaks to it, but I'm not too uh, too sure. So pretty cool. All right. So anyway, that concludes this unboxing of my recent purchases from Jimmy at Surplus Goodies. Check him out on Surplus Goodies at his eBay store. I'll put a link in the description for that. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I'll catch you next time.